What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, Miami 2020, the boat show. It doesn't get any bigger than this. This is where all the big dogs come to play and show off all their new toys. Boats, pliers, tackle, fishing rods, you name it, mega yachts, they've got it. Y'all think I should do that for a catch, clean, and cook? Imagine running 140, 150 miles an hour trolling. All right, y'all, so here at the Miami Boat Show, you can come and get on any of these boats, believe it or not, any of them, and take a ride. No matter what company, no matter what boat manufacturer, that's what they're here for, is to give everybody rides, show them the boat, show them the motors, show what they have to offer as a boat manufacturer and a motor company. We're down in Biscayne Bay in the Miami area. My first time ever here, and this is insanely awesome. Like there is so many types of boats and motors and anything you could imagine is at this boat show and I'm gonna try my best to show y'all all, all of it. All right, y'all, look where we're at now. The holy grail of all motors. And you know you're about to see a new one of these on the blackjack very soon. Robert runs one. The Hang 'em High guys run one. I have one on my boat. My dad has one. Everybody that I fish with consistently has Suzuki's. And you know there's a reason for that other than we just like the name Suzuki. They're literally, they never break down. So a quick story with my Suzuki. Six years ago when I bought my first like boat that I could take out in the ocean, I didn't have a ton of money. So I'm like, I'll just get an average boat, but I'm buying a new motor. I bought a Suzuki 175. Six years later, that motor has never even tripped one. It's never even stumbled. Now the boat that I had, I eventually had to get rid of because it fell apart. And that Suzuki now is on the blackjack, the one you've seen on all my videos. That says something. I've never had that motor leave me stranded one single time. So now we're gonna go get on the Freemans on the Hang 'em High boats and show you all these motors in action. We'll see y'all soon. Explain to them why this boat eats up that sea like it's nobody's business. Just like a quick rundown of why this boat did what it just did. Well, we have a catamaran design. Um, you know, it's a step tall. The, the boat was designed to run in a rough ocean. Fishing out of Charleston as much as Billy did, he had to design a boat that would be able to get out there comfortably and come home comfortably instead of just getting his tail kicked, you know, with the weather that we typically have in the Carolinas. Um, out of that necessity, these boats were born and they continue to get better as we, as we go through. Y'all, if you don't know, I was sitting on the couch in the front of the boat as he just hit that inlet at the boat. How fast were you going, 55? Uh, 40. Mid 40. So mid 40 miles an hour, we just went out the mouth of the inlet with solid four footers and I never even had to move my hat. Freemans, y'all, that's the reason the best use the best and that's how they become the best. We'll see y'all back at the dock. Train professional. 
Hey everybody, Craig here from Danco at the 2020 Miami Boat Show where we are releasing our 2020 new product for the show is our heavy duty offshore titanium plier made out of T4 titanium. It's got a crimper set up in it. You've got cobalt titanium cutters. You cut monofluoro braid, light hooks and wire. I'm here at the show with Blue Gabe. He came by and said, hey man, let's shoot a video and show what you're releasing at the show. This is it, $189.99. Available at Captain Harry's in the Crook and Crook booth here at the Miami Boat Show. All right, you guys, this is one of the most important things when you're boating. On the grouper fishing video on Deer Meat's channel, you saw them. On my Jacksonville trip, you saw them. Any, any offshore trip where we're running a long ways or if we're even just running close but it's rough and I got the kids, these bean bags save your booty. Y'all check them out, Sea Rider. So whenever I'm walking around and I'm looking and I see something that's neat, I'm gonna also show you guys. But this guy here had ran into Robert. Did you do a show with Robert? Yes, sir, we went he, shark fishing. So he ran into Robert at Bass Pro Shops and ended up on a video with Robert, but he has such an awesome product and I'm gonna let him show y'all now. All right, thanks, Gabe. Yeah, this is called the Rod Runner Portable Fishing Rod Rack. Carry up to five rods in one hand. No tangling lines, breaking guides. We designed it to sit perfect in the back of the truck or the SUV just like that. You can wash down all your rods at the end of the day and check this out. We can also customize it. All the rod holders are interchangeable. We can set it up for spinning, fly, bait cast, even large offshore conventional rods. When you come home, hang them all up on the wall mount just like that. That's awesome. Save space, take care of your rods, spend more time fishing. Y'all check them out. All right, y'all. So I've been down here on the Hang'em High Guys boats. But I've been staring at this boat for like two hours and I've saw Robert on Deer Meat fish with a lady in Texas that had this style boat. Y'all know I have my bay boat, but I've been looking at these really hard. So we're about to take this boat for a ride and see if it's everything it's supposed to be. He says it's dry. He says it can take a big sea. He says it can run really, really shallow. It's got all the storage. It's got the looks. It can hold a big motor. It can do everything I can do if it can handle this test today, so we're about to go take a ride. So what is the exact name of this boat? It's the Shallow Sport X3. Where are they built out of? Uh, Los Fresnos, Texas. Woo, American made. So this boat's got three different bait wells, big storage, big rod lockers, big center console, comfort. It's 26 foot long. It's actually got everything my boat already has on it. Suzuki, Simrad, the only thing that I'm not sure about is this top. I think I would go with a bimini top, but he said that's removable. So look at me up here. That's one of the huge selling points of this boat is you can get up high and see fish from so much farther away. And it's relatively a little bit bumpy where we're at right now and I'm sitting perfectly still. You can tell because the camera's not moving around. So it's blowing like 20 out of the south. We're gonna take it out in the cut, see what she can do. So that was the same manufacturer, just a different model. That boat actually had a 450 on the back, which is a little bit more than I would need. What's the top end speed on this boat? Mid 50s. Mid 50s. So a lot of y'all ask me when I'm looking at a boat or what makes me choose a boat. And I even do this when I'm going with guides, some of the guys that y'all see me fish with. A boat will make or break your day. If it's rough and it beats you up and gets you wet, who wants to fish like that? So. When I'm choosing a guide, I always try to make sure they have a boat that's you know, good for that type of video that we're gonna do. I can't get my cameras wet, can't get them beat up. I don't wanna get myself beat up. This boat supposedly is a Cadillac. So that's really the main objective for this type, for this test drive is to see just how smooth it is. But seriously, are you kidding? Do they really need four of those giant motors on the back of there? Probably not.
All right, so when we came out, we planed off. This camera that I'm filming with is super sensitive to, you know, rocking. Well, we were running so fast I couldn't film it, but this boat just passed four tests that I was worried about. Will you get wet? We didn't get wet. And we crossed a big yacht's wake, never even got sprayed. Will it beat us up? We just ran three miles and it's pretty snotty. Didn't get beat up. We just ran across less than a foot of water and did not even leave a mud trail. And he had it jacked all the way up. The motor didn't overheat, it ran perfectly. So to me, now the next thing I'm gonna do is come down with Cap, do a show on this boat, see if we really like it. I'm pretty much sold. I think we're sitting on my new boat. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll see y'all back at the dock.